This vile show, which will rock the monarchy in just three days' time. Should King Charles now man up and strip Harry and Meghan of their royal titles once and for all? What do you think? Dan at GBNews.uk, our poll running at GB News on Twitter. Fascinated to know the results on this. To help you make your mind up, though, I'm joined by the woman who literally wrote the book on Prince Harry. She got huge access to the Duke of Sussex as well, the royal biographer Angela Levin, and the author of Elizabeth and Philip, a story of young love, marriage and monarchy, Dr Tessa Dunlop. Great to have you both here. Angela Levin, I strongly believe now King Charles can't just hold back any longer. He has to take decisive action, Angela. He's got to strip Harry and Meghan of their titles. Otherwise, they are making a fool out of him and the monarchy. Yes, but it's very complicated. They can get rid of the Duke, Duke and Duchess of Sussex, but it's very difficult, I think impossible, to get rid of Prince Harry. He was born a prince, and you can't actually take that away. Um, but if he's left with the prince, then Meghan becomes Princess Harry or Princess Henry, which is what is on his birth certificate. So um, I think you have to weigh up what's the, <laughs> the best thing to do. It's very, very difficult. I think he must be absolutely destroyed. He's always loved Harry. He's got on with him very close. Harry was always the one to sort out any rows and calm things over. And now he's turned into such an unpleasant, nasty person. I think it's very sad because when I spent a lot of time with him, as you mentioned, he was full of energy, full of beans. He was very intuitive. He was very good with people, just like his mother. And he didn't really moan. He would get irritable, but that's all right. We all get irritable. But now all the worst in him has been brought out by his wife, Megan, in my view. Tessa Dunlop, you say they shouldn't be stripped of their titles. Why? They clearly hate the royal family, Tessa. Why on earth do they want to cling to this institution that they think is so awful? I've just been on the other side of Europe, and I think we need to sit back and look at how this is playing out internationally. Our monarchy has always been a global brand, and one historically we've been proud of and that's worked for us. And at the moment, our soap opera, our clash, the front pages of our pretty often, in fact, sordid papers are being plastered all over news headlines. And what we're not understanding is that in many ways, yeah, this is a domestic feud, but it's also an institution of state that has long needed reform. Harry and Meghan are not impartial. They're not without their agenda. They're the least appropriate people in many ways to be calling out the need for reform. But we have to fall on our forwards, swords, and you included, Dan Wooten and Angela, as part of the fourth estate, for actually not insisting on change within this no, institution. No, 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 